Understanding the various measuring mode options in Bloom's version 5 laser software is key to ensuring the correct measurements are made and that coolant and debris will not cause any errors for your laser. The measuring mode, or B variable, is used to define the approach strategy and the type of measurement you wish to make in a cycle. In total, there are seven different measuring modes to choose from for varying situations. To simplify our explanation of the measuring modes, we'll separate them into two groups for situations when tool dimensions are known and for situations when tool dimensions are unknown. First, let's look at the B variables to use for situations when a tool's dimensions are known. With known tool dimensions, we can choose from a set of negative B variables, either a B negative 3, a B negative 2, or a B negative 1, to define the mode of measurement. These modes allow you to use a tool's known dimensions to wrap it into the laser beam and make measurements faster. Excellent for minimizing measuring time in mass production processes. Let's look at each one individually as shown in the laser manual. B-3 will automatically position the tip of the tool into the beam and record the length and or radius values of the tool. B-2 will automatically position the tip of the tool into the beam and check if the tool's wear has exceeded its set tolerance, a pass or fail type of test. And lastly, B-1 will automatically position the tip of the tool into the beam, but this time update the tool's wear and only alarm if it surpasses its set tolerance. It is important to note that these modes use an unconventional tool approach methodology. Rather than looking to trigger a skip signal by pushing the tool into the laser beam, the tool will wrap it into position and then slowly retract, looking for the first trickle of light. The system is actually looking for a beam reconnection type of skip signal. This tool approach methodology avoids errors that arise from coolant and swarf passing through the beam during measurement. Bloom technicians refer to these modes as NT modes. Note, however, that it is extremely important that tool dimensions have been entered correctly when using these NT modes. Extreme caution must be used during tool dimension input. These are best used for tool measurements or checks after a cut, since the dimensions will have already been verified as correct. For all other situations where the tool's dimensions are unknown, we use a zero or positive B variable, either B1, B2, or B3, to define the mode of measurement. These modes are slower, yet safer, because they instruct the laser to perform a search run. Unlike the aforementioned NT modes, the positive B variables generate a skip signal by moving the tool into the beam until it is shaded enough of the beam to trigger a skip signal. This method can delay measurement significantly if coolant or other debris passes through the beam during measurement. Looking at the positive B modes in the manual, we see that B0 will instruct a search run measurement of the tool and update the tool's length and or radius dimensions. B1 will instruct a search run measurement of the tool and update the tool's wear dimensions and alarm if it surpasses its set tolerances. B2 will instruct a search run measurement of the tool and check to see if the tool has exceeded its wear tolerance, another pass-fail type of test. Lastly, we see B3, the only positive B mode that instructs the control to perform an NT search run measurement. This mode uses the NT mode methodology for measurement, shading of the laser beam from dark to light, without tool dimension data. Although B0 may be the default B mode in Bloom's laser programming, Bloom technicians will always recommend that B3 be the mode of choice for most tool measurement cycles.